Mortal Kombat 2 has added four new cast members playing some pretty important characters. So let's talk about them and what does this mean for the sequel and inevitably Mortal Kombat 3. Okay, so getting right into it, first up, let's talk about Sindel, whose name I'm not gonna buy, so I will just call her Anna, aka her first name. Sindel, a really good pick, especially when it comes to her relationship with the one and only, well, um, Shao Kahn, who we shall talk about soon, down the road, in this video. I think this casting makes sense, and honestly, I'm excited to see Sindel, as I genuinely like the character. Next up, certainly a interesting character that i did not expect to see in this so king jared king of edinia um very very interesting that we're gonna go down this route this quick with this specific character but i'm open to see what sort of interpretation they do here and what they do with him obviously edinia you know that has obvious connotations with eden so it'll be interesting to really see what they do here with this character as a whole how he's integral to the plot and the different realms and worlds and uh if his is going to be one of the ones that's conquered by shao khan which in my opinion this probably is the first opening act of the film to set up shang song as a threat speaking of him we got martin ford as shao khan it's pretty much perfect shao khan doesn't really need much personality he literally wears like half a mask and he yells and demands things he's giant and imposing yep this guy looks the part and uh if you've ever seen him act you'll understand he can pull it off with ease so uh pretty awesome to see that he is gonna be the main villain of the film now we got one more interesting casting here which a lot of people are uh, speculating a lot about and hyped for and that's fan favorite quan chi now i absolutely love quan chi as a character so i'm interested to see what they do with him my guess is is that we are going to explore some of the uh, history with him with specific characters. I will not be shocked if they start going in the direction of, uh, you know, his relationship with Scorpion, Sub-Zero, putting in some twists and turns on things, and also setting him up inevitably as the villain of the third entry, which will probably feature Shinnok. Overall, four great additions to this cast that I'm absolutely excited to see and what they do. I just hope that the film can have a, a little bit of a longer runtime to give us a lot more time with these characters and explore more of the world and, uh, you know, what it is. Because it sounds like that the budget is going to go up, which honestly is pretty awesome because um, they could definitely use it. Let's be real. That first film definitely showed some budget limitations. <laughs> 